guys welcome back to my channel and to another video i hope you are doing fantastic today we are going to talk about fragrances that will be perfect for a luxury hotel setting so whether you are going away somewhere whether you are dream about vacation now we have snow we have winter here in poland at least but I'm still dreaming about going something. It's the beginning of the year, so maybe you are, you know, planning an excursion or maybe uh, a weekend somewhere abroad and you are going to a luxury hotel. It might be for you. Or if you are only daydreaming about traveling, you want to feel luxurious, you want to feel like you are going somewhere and, you know, you're just using those luxury perfumes. This is for you as well, because perfumes are, as we all know, evocative. So we can smell it and mm, we are transported somewhere to a certain setting, to a cer certain place. So I thought it would be good just to, you know, dream a little bit about something luxurious and talk to you about all of those luxurious fragrances. So stay with me. My name is Justina. This is my perfume world. If you like it here, please consider subscribing to this channel, leave a like, leave a comment and let's go. So the first one, actually, I'm always um, saying that it's similar to a fragrance, to a smell of a luxury boutique. And for me, this is evocative of a luxury boutique somewhere in Paris, a slightly avant-garde boutique, but also classic one like this classic chic elegance you know and this one is of course none other than Oulala from Tio Cabanel I absolutely adore this perfume this one is very original actually it was a love from the first sniff even though when I first tested it it was kind of strange to me but it had something addictive so this one has hazelnut this one has tonka beans, which gives it this warmth and nuttiness and almondiness almost. It has saffron. It has orris root, which gives this fragrance like the new feeling, you know, of the new clothes. That's what I get from this fragrance. It's musk in the base. I absolutely love it. It's a creation of Patry Revillard. So um, he's quite known, I think, in the world of fragrance. I absolutely love this perfume and I must tell you that in the very very dry down I can sense this hazelnut is slightly similar to the hazelnut we have in Guidance from Amouage. I absolutely love Guidance as you know but of course it's by no means any dupe or anything but I get this slight you know nutty and slightly spicy feeling from Ulala that I get in Guidance from Amouage. Let me know if you have similar observation however I know that Guidance is a perfume that everyone perceives completely differently. So you may not have same effect as me, but I strongly feel that somewhere this hazelnut is similar. This one is just luxurious. This one is just like a luxury new clothes. That's it. And for me, this is a hotel lobby, smell of a hotel lobby of very luxurious hotel, so which is slightly avant-garde modern but at the same time it has this classic element to it so that's that's the scent i get with ulala this one is just ulala this one is amazing i absolutely love it and if you are from europe and you are looking for um good prices for tio cabanel i would recommend to check out Raffinat parfumery they are from the czech republic so basically Czechs are our neighbors um, of Poland and I'm very happy to have a collaboration now with Rafinat and I can recommend you 100% because I was ordering actually this Ulala there from Rafinat and I have 10% off if you are interested for all the assortment from Rafinat. You will find it in the description box along with other discount codes of the perfumes, of the brands basically, I will be talking about today. So if you are interested in any discount, you can go to the description box and check. But Ulala is so, so good. So that was the first one. Another scent, which is similar in the vibe, like this luxury boutique vibe as well. Here we have Iris Shot from Olfactive Studio. I absolutely, absolutely love this fragrance. This one looks like an old school camera from 70s, which I absolutely adore because I love 70s. I don't know, maybe in my previous life I was living somewhere in America in 70s because I'm absolutely obsessed with like all vintage stuff in general. So this one, this one has Iris. As the name suggests, this Iris here is opulent this iris here is very powdery but also very buttery and you have something here like a suede like 
which gives gives this uh, fragrance a texture, a very luxurious feel as well. It is smooth, blended to perfection for me. It has carrots as well as a note, which might be slightly bizarre to some people, but I think it gives it this unique flair. And this one is slightly carroty, maybe, but sometimes iris or oris root pulls carrot like like a carrot as well. So maybe that's the effect, you know, carrot combined with iris. We have this beautiful, sweet, buttery, powdery effect here. And I must tell you that also in a very dry down, I can feel that this iris is very clean as in our, uh, as iris in Prada Infusion Diri. So if you like, like that fragrance, you will like this one as well. But of course, it's not the same fragrance. This one is much more complex, much more rich, dense. And for me, it's wholly around appropriate. Absolutely love this fragrance. So original, so unique. And it's very hard to describe it, actually. You need to smell for yourself, but for me, very original, um, modern, but classic as well at the same time. Very, very good. And for Olfactive Studio, I have 15% discount if you are interested as well. And I have an affiliate link. So I highly recommend this brand in general because they have really, really interesting fragrances. So that was Iris Shot from Olfactive Studio. Another fragrance will, will bring us to uh, a seaside, you know, very luxurious seaside. So if you are planning to visit seaside during the spring or summer, you can go with Marbella from Carner Barcelona. And I absolutely love the color of the bottle, which is evocative of, of course, summer vacation, uh, you know, leisure. It cools us down. This fragrance is your not typical freshy. This one is flowery. This one is slightly watery as well. This one is citrusy, but everything in this, in this one actually is very, very unique. And I, I will tell you that it reminds me of a vacation on a luxurious yacht, on a boat. I don't know, weekend on the boat, you are very elegant, luxurious looking, you know, you have your best clothes on, um, golden jewelry, uh, toned colors, you know, like white beige, very luxurious, and you are wearing Marbella. This one is casual, but at the same time, very, very elegant. And Marbella is a city in Spain known uh, from the rich people, actually, who live there. So this fragrance, I think, perfectly captures uh, you know, I think this atmosphere, I never went to Marbella, maybe I will visit someday, but I think when I smell this fragrance, I think of Marbella and all of those beautiful things, you know, you can encounter um, on a seaside with a luxury around you. So yeah, that's what that was Marbella and another one from Carner Barcelona. And actually uh, now this fragrance is perfect for some kind of a city break in a luxurious hotel as well. And this one is from Carner and it's Tardes. And this one I like so, so much. This one is very universal as well. Perfect for a signature scent. This one is a powdery, musky almond. Basically, that's what I get. And it also has this slight cool effect. Very interesting. It has celery note, but you do not need to be afraid of it because I cannot sense any celery, actually. Any greenery I don't get from this fragrance. So maybe the celery gives you this slight coolness. Maybe that's what we have here. And also has tonka bean. I absolutely love tonka bean, as you know. So this is almondy, powdery, cool, polished, put together. Tardis from Carner Barcelona. I absolutely love this fragrance. And I, as I always say, um, it might be not a love from the first sniff. So definitely give it a couple of tries before you will just, you know, think that this fragrance is not for you. Uh, I had this effect when I was first testing this fragrance. I thought it's not for me. It is too run of the mill, basically. I thought it's too, you know, too plain for me. But then um, when I was first testing it, actually, that was a summer. And I think it doesn't work that well in summer than in a cooler months or cooler days. So I prefer to use it when it's slightly colder outside because it gives you this warm powdery effect on you and it's just intoxicating so yeah it's Tardis by Carner Barcelona very very luxurious as for me 
Uh, another one is cheapy, but I think um, you cannot miss that one if you want, if you are on the budget and you want to have something original. This one is Lalique Le Parfum. I absolutely love this perfume. This one is vanilla one, and I always say that it smells very unique, very expensive. Uh, this is your slightly posh vanilla, I would say. This is a vanilla basically from a luxurious hotel. I love this fragrance. This one has Ton Cabine as well. Very unique vanilla. It has bay leaf, which I absolutely love here in this fragrance. This vanilla is not too sweet, although for some people it might be too sweet. You know, you need to test it out basically. But this vanilla is not like your dessert-like vanilla, nothing like ice cream or anything like that. It's not too gourmand as well, at least for me. So if you are looking for original vanilla perfume, uh, La Vie Cle Parfum is definitely the one to check out. So yeah, and for the price, it feels very, very luxurious. And the lasting power is not bad at all. So yeah, that was La Vie Cle Parfum. Another one is another cheapy, and I cannot recommend it enough as well, because, you know, you just get, you're just getting amazing fragrance for a really, really good price. And this one, I have here a travel size, but who knows, maybe I will get bigger bottle because this one is so gracious, you know, so carefree but elegant at the same time. This one is Trusardi Donna. I have used up quite a bit, I must say. And this one um, is just beautiful. It was created by Natalie Lorson. So if you like her creations, you may go and check out Trusardi Donna and even blind buy it because I, I don't usually recommend blind buying, you know, but this one, I cannot see a person who doesn't like it. Uh, just like that. So this one uh, is flowery. It has white flower, uh, white flowers and also it has this citrusy effect. And maybe this description seems to be too plain, you know. And I thought so as well. And I was postponing buying this fragrance. I knew it exists, but you know, I was like, hmm, maybe it's not for me. But I think this one is so good. It doesn't turn sour on my skin, which usually happens with citruses. Unfortunately, I usually don't like citrusy fragrances. There are some exceptions, but all in all, sometimes the citrus pulls too sour on my skin and, and it's getting too cheap. This one is just amazing. This balance between flowers and citrusy aspect is just, just amazing. It reminds me a lobby, hotel lobby uh, from a white marble and you have beautiful, delicate scents around you. That's what it reminds me of. It's very uh, unique, but at the same time, very versatile as well. So yeah, Trusardi Donna in very, very good price. So yeah, um, it's perfect for a luxury trip as well. Another one is, of course, uh, again, something luxurious, but it's more expensive, unfortunately, but I think it's worth the hype. This one is BDK Gris Charnel. I absolutely love the bottle as well. All BDK bottles are just amazing. I like them very much, and I also love the color of the liquid, this dark dark gray. Yeah, dark gray is absolutely amazing. And this one, for me, reminds me of uh, autumn. So basically, yeah, maybe I am too, you know, to prone to suggestions because many people says that um, it actually reminds them of autumn, of rain and those cloudy gray days. Maybe there is something to it that I'm inspired by, by other people's opinions. But this one, yeah, it's, it really has something, you know. It has this feel. I, I can see uh, that you are sitting in your Parisian very elegant flat um, with lots of works of art, you know. You're looking through the window uh, on the city, uh, you can see city lights and there is a rain and you feel cozy and nice. That's what I get with this fragrance. This one is a luxury in a bottle. I love this spicy part of this fragrance. Here we have fig, here we have cardamom, which I absolutely love. Uh, we have musk, I believe, we have tonka bean. So this one is spicy, sweet, mellow, especially in the dry down. It's very creamy as well on me. So good. So good. For me, it's a worth, it's, it's worth blind, not blind buying, but buying and worth the price. So yeah, Gris Charnel, BDK, very luxurious vibes with this one. Another one 
is on a louder side and this one um, I associate with a bougie resort you know or something like that or a bougie party in a resort and this one is Mula Mula from Byron this is the classic one I think uh, this is the one that gets the most hype I think this one I really like but I must admit that when I first was testing it I wasn't very fond of it you know I didn't think much you know, I just sprayed it on me and I was like, really, what is the, all the hype about? But now, when I was testing it over and over and over again, after like third or fourth time, I thought that I really, really liked this fragrance. I don't know what happened, but something weird happened with the sillage and, you know, and with all the projection and all of a sudden I was, you know, immersed in this beautiful scent bubble. And then I love it. I love this fragrance and I've been loving it ever since. So good. And so many people I've heard it compare, they compare it to, Mul to not Mula Mula, but Herba Pura from Zerja. I had this reminiscence, you know, of Herba Pura from time to time. But not, now I don't feel it. So if you don't like Herba Pura, just don't be put off by all of those descriptions on Fragrantica. Just test it for yourself if you have a chance. Because for me, this one, is sweet so you need to like your sweet fragrances for me it's like a caramel infused with red berries red fruits or something like this but all of those berries are slightly artificial are slightly in synthetic so you won't get the fruity sourness or anything like that this one is not a real fruit you know this one is synthetic version of a fruit plus caramel but by saying synthetic i don't mean anything bad it is very addictive and good it is loud and proud i really like it you know it is a perfect alter alternative actually for a mainstream perfume if you like your perfume sweet but you, but you don't want to smell like anyone else i think mula mula uh, would be very good choice so yeah it has this luxurious bougie party and resort vibes another one I have a decant of it and it's room 1015 and it's sonic flower so this one also has this oris root that gives this fragrance this new feel again you know like the new clothes or something like this i don't know for me oris root or um, uh, iris in general sometimes gives this new uh, effect and that's what we have in here and this one is very approachable for me it's unisex so if you are a man and you are looking for a flowery fragrance that is not too feminine i think a sonic flower from room 1015 will be perfect this one is so nice you know cozy nice but at the same time refreshing it is not groundbreaking you know but it's so so nice and it doesn't last that long i must be honest with you but this is an everyday fragrance so it, if you do not want to be offensive to anyone with your perfume but you would still want to smell original and luxurious i think sonic flower is perfect it has this transparent quality at, uh, as well to do it to it so yeah so so nice uh and yeah i recommend it for this luxury hotel vibe like this cold hotel lobby very elegant i think that's the vibe as well so yes, yeah, Sonic Flower and two fragrances from Giardini di Toscana now. And actually, these are uh, inspired by White Lotus series. I don't know if you watched it, but I really like the series and I saw it already two times. And in November, actually, I was watching it two times. And actually, White Lotus inspired this list because when I was looking at those hotels, one in Hawaii and second one in Sicily, I thought to myself, I need to compile this list of luxury resort fragrances, you know, for you guys and for me to dream about it, you know, to create certain feelings, evocative memories. I think that's why we like fragrances so much, because they can transport us, right? So the first one um, I associate with the first season of White Lotus, which takes place uh, in Hawaii. So this one is Bora Bora. And actually, this one is very luxurious, tropical fragrance. But by tropical, I do not mean like tropical fruits or anything like that. This one smells like tropical oils. But for me, it's not your typical, you know, sun, body oil, nothing like that. You you have here um, 
you have him frangipani, I believe, or tiari flower, I think is, uh, is the same. Uh, you have here coconut, but this coconut is dense and creamy. You have caramel, but this caramel is not too sweet. Don't be afraid of it. It gives it this milky, slightly sweet texture. It has musk as well, which, which gives it the cleanliness. It is so pleasurable, so good, addictive at the same time, very luxurious. I absolutely love Bora Bora and the lasting power is just a beast mode. So I absolutely love Bora Bora and it reminds me of those exotic, luxurious hotels, you know. So I think mm, this one is so, so good. So Bora Bora from Giardini Toscana and another one which gives, uh, which brings us to a season second of White Lotus, which takes place in Taormina in Sicily, which I absolutely love. And I was just smitten by the second season of the series. Um, actually, I liked Hawaii as well, but this, you know, Italian flair just captivated me. I dream to go Sicily to Sicily one day. We'll see. I need to go there because I just absolutely love the imaginary of imagery of all of this I saw in there. So this one is Colonia Nobile. I think not many people recommend this one. And I think it's too bad because it's so, so good, especially if you like Neroli based fragrances. And I know Neroli or Petit Grain, which is, um, you know, this oil from the bitter orange might be challenging to some people. I've heard that not many people like this note. So yeah, maybe you need to check it out first. But this one is like your classic Colonia, Cologne maybe, uh, with, um, with, you know, with Neroli, with orange, with orange blossom. But this one is an other parfum form. So this one is actually really long lasting. And I must tell you guys that I've read or I've read on Fragrantica that some people complained about the lasting power, but I cannot agree. You know, my husband is using this fragrance over and over. I think it's now um, his favorite from the whole collection he has. And actually he's an under sprayer as for me. He does like two or three sprays max. And this one lasts the whole day. When he gets back, gets back from work, I can still send, smell, you know, Colonia Nobile in the air. It is not very, very prominent, but when I'm approaching my husband, he still radiates the fragrance. So it's very long lasting and it has this orange flower, Neroli, which is slightly green, herbal, bitter, but at the same time, slightly citrusy, you know, like, like typical Neroli fragrance, plus this creaminess, you know, you have in Giardini Toscana fragrances, which I absolutely love. The screaminess here is ever so slight. And I must tell you, I need to combine this one with Bianco Latte because it might be very interesting. And here also we have addition of white flowers. I remember it was Jasmine. Beautiful, just summer in Italy. You need to check it out. I think this one is much, much worth Checking out if you like your Neroli fragrances. If, from, for example, Neroli Portofino from Tom Ford doesn't last long on you, try Colonia Nobile from Giardini Toscana because this one is just amazing. It's a summer in Italy in a bottle, as I said. But this one is very original for a whole year round as well. All right, and another fragrance. I couldn't, uh, you know, miss it from this list. This one is Jardins de Misfa from Inuit Nomad, of course. And I won't be uh, talking to you long about this fragrance because I have an impression that I mention it everywhere almost. This one is so good. This one is for me a smell of paradise, basically. So good. So amazing. It has rose. It has saffron. It has dates. It's sweet. It's rosy, slightly rosy. It's like, you know, this rose mist surrounding you with sweet dates, you are somewhere in the oasis and uh, everything is very exotic around you. You have palm trees around as well. You're eating some beautiful desserts. Very good. So good and blissful, just like that. This scent is just blissful, very beautiful. If you're looking for unique uh, fragrance for the whole year round and especially maybe for holidays as well, uh, for your vacation, I think Jardins de Misfa is just absolutely amazing. I have 10% coupon code with Jardins de, with, uh, with, for Jardins de Misfa, of course, as well, but for a uh, whole Nuit Nomad assortment and the link is affiliate. Everything will be in the description if you are interested. Another fragrance is 
um, evokes this image of very luxurious and posh hotel. And this hotel has like this black marble lobby. And in this lobby, you have this big vase with white flowers that smell just narcotic and intoxicating and dark. And that gives me Atelier Materie, and it's a fragrance that's called Narcistagie. And this one you can also buy on Raffinet, actually. And they have full bottles, they have uh, small samples, so you can check it out. They have discovery sets, so I think it's very, very nice. And this one is so original as well. I have sprayed it before because, as usual, I was filming first in Polish. This one has Narcissus, which smells like a white flower. It has something dark in it here. So if you like your tuberose, narcotic and heavy, heavy fragrances, I think Narcissus will be perfect. And it has Bran Accord, I think, here as well, which is very unusual and original. This one is just dark, mysterious and very luxurious. So if you are going for that vibe, I think Narcissus for all my femme fatales out there, I think this one will be just perfect. Yeah, and two last fragrances. The first one being, uh, it's a dupe actually, but I, since I have a full bottle, I will tell you about it. Uh, it's actually gold from Latafa Pride. And this one is actually a dupe from, for Rosendo Matteo number no. 5. So either this or Rosendo number no. 5 will do just perfectly. I must tell you that when I first smelled Rosendo Matteo number no. 5, I was thinking about this luxurious boutique or luxurious hotel. And this one smells like 99% similar. So good. Like very sensual musk combined with tonka, which is sweet, which is opulent, which is very rich, um, almondy. Uh, it has vanilla as well, which is very addictive. It has this suede-like accord, I think thanks to saffron. So very good. So very good, mysterious, delicious. That's what we get with Rosendo Matteo number no. five or Ishak Shuyuk Gold from Latafa Pride. And the last fragrance, this one is a, is a new thing in my collection and I absolutely love it. Today I'm wearing it for the whole day. It's new, so this is the first like full wear I'm giving this fragrance, but I already love it. And this is this is the fragrance that is one of the most sophisticated in my collection, I think. It belongs to this category of very put-together, elegant woman. And this one is from Mask Milano. And this one is Dolce Aqua. And this one I kindly got from Raffinat Perfumery. So thank you very much. I'm so thrilled uh, to be able to try it out because the bottle is just beautiful and the concept behind it behind the series is so beautiful so I absolutely love it and this one smells like your refined perfume you know um, many people says that it reminds them of Chanel number no. five maybe when it comes to the fragrance style which is as I said said cool elegant and chic but it's not the same scent profile, if you know what I mean. It has Mimosa, it has Ylang Ylang. This one is uh, slightly cool, but at the same time uplifting, very elegant. It has uh, this um, sea notes, uh, like aquatic notes in it. And I was slightly afraid because I picked it up blindly and I was thinking, hmm, maybe those sea notes won't work for me because I do not quite like those uh, aquatic, aquatic effects usually. But this one is combined just to perfection. It is like waft of beautiful, fragrant air uh, that is wafting towards you, you know, during the summertime. Uh, the scent of flowers in the, is in the air and you can feel this cool breeze. That's what it is. And here we have this image of a woman uh, with a scarf on her head. And actually, that's what I get. That's the image I get uh, with this fragrance, like French Riviera, carefree vacation, uh, luxury resort, exactly. And a very old money aesthetics. That's what we get with Dolce Aqua from Mask Milano. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful fragrance. It lasts really long time, projects like crazy, and you do not need much, actually. Today I mm, did like four sprays. I was surrounded uh, with this beautiful cloud of fragrance for the whole day. So I absolutely love it. It's slightly powdery as well. So, so good. So Mask Milano Dolce Aqua. 
For this, you can have also 10% um, off with my coupon code. Yeah, so that was it for today. Let me know if you have any of those fragrances, if you are interested in any of those fragrances, and let me know your picks for a luxury resort vacation, if you have ones. Thank you very much for watching today, and see you in my next videos. Bye-bye.